Hello 9M. This is our first lesson together. I know lots of you from around school and I have covered lessons for you in the past, but I've never actually had you as an English group. So this is a new experience for all of us. I'll be taking you through to the end of the year and hope to make our lessons fun, interactive and imaginative. So just a couple of bits of information that will make us run smoothly as a group. Firstly, I will be using Securely to monitor our lessons and you can ask me questions directly and privately through that system. I also run a Google Hangout chat and I've already messaged you all with the link to that. Now, please do use that chat to talk as a group about what we're doing in the lesson, but also as a way of keeping in touch and making English lessons a bit like being in the classroom. I will be interacting with you via that and I do like a good bit of humour. Most lessons, I'll be recording videos to teach specific ideas, read sections of text, or get messages to you about the lesson tasks. All will be delivered via my YouTube channel and links will be posted on Classroom together with written instructions. Now this week, we're going to read a Gothic horror story together, but today's lesson is in two parts. And first up is a fun and interactive task to get the lesson and the week started and to get us out of our seats. Now, once we've done that, I want you to listen to me read the opening part to a story called The Red Room on the second YouTube link in the instructions box and then complete the assignment shared with you. But first up, I want you to think about a book, film or TV show that you like and know well. It could be any film, book or TV show from any genre. I want you to think about how you could represent the title or the key theme of your choice visually using the things that you have in your house. Think about how film posters or book covers give us information. And then I'm going to give you 15 minutes to get it sorted. I want you to create me a visual representation of the book, film or TV show of your choice. Remember using the things that you have in your house. Organise them into an image and take a picture of it like Pictionary, but without the drawing. If you can't think of a book, film or TV show that you could visualise, then think of the texts that you've read so far this year and think of the key ideas in those of Mice and Men or Romeo and Juliet. Think about the things that you could use. You could use a Barbie doll. You could use a Power Ranger toy, a bar of soap, a pebble, a pair of tweezers. You could use a silk scarf. You could use some breakfast cereal. You could actually use anything, but be creative and be inventive, like Pictionary, but without the drawing. Now, let's get away from our Chromebooks for 15 minutes. Once you are sorted, take a picture of your image with your phone or your Chromebook or your laptop and upload it onto the shared slides presentation attached to this instruction box. Add a new slide, with your name next to your image. Please also write whether we are trying to guess a film, book or TV show title, and then let's see if we can guess what you are representing via our Hangout chat. My effort is on the shared slideshow for you to get some inspiration from. See if you can guess what film I am representing in that picture. So good luck with that, and I'll speak to you all in 15 minutes.